I got a comment this morning from someone says, according to a 2019 study, the nitrites and nitrates in bacon cause colorectal cancer. I eat a lot of bacon, should I be worried? Good morning, everybody. It's another gorgeous morning here in Florida. The birds are chirping. And I want to talk to you all about the panic and our concerns over all of those things that we need to be alarmed about and concerned about that are going to kill us or make us sick that we hear about every day from every direction. Where's all this stuff coming from? Unfortunately, nutritional science actually bears no resemblance to science in general and what science actually means. And I think the reason that nutritional science is so inaccurate is that the concept of randomized control trials and studies where you can actually have control over the confounders, the things that screw up the results of your study, where the length of the study is adequate to actually show some of the results, which by the very nature of the slow poisoning over a lifetime of the bad effects of the foods that we eat, never allow any of these studies to run long enough to have any meaningful results. And then coupled with the fact that most of these studies are funded by people with agendas. They're not doing science where the results should speak for themselves. They're doing marketing massaging the data and the statistics to, to show what they want to show, or they scrap the whole thing and try a different approach. The data itself is generally laughable. It comes from what they call epidemiological studies and surveys, asking people what they ate. So you take a group of people, ask them what they ate, tally that up for six months, and then try to extrapolate any real dangers caused by what they ate is, a, is absurd. It is absolutely absurd. And yet it's responsible for all of the dietary misconceptions that we still that we still almost take as fact today. And they're stated, they're stated as givens in future studies, which start with a false assumption. For example, well, we know saturated fat is bad, so, and there you go. Well, I got a comment this morning from someone says, according to a 2019 study, the nitrites and nitrates in bacon cause colorectal cancer. I eat a lot of bacon, should I be worried? See, this has been debunked so much already 
And I decided, oh, well, let me see what Dr. Google has to say. So I Googled bacon and colon cancer and came up with hundreds of thousands of hits pointing me to studies that stated, like it was actual fact, that there is a link between eating bacon and nitrites and colorectal cancer. So I started looking at some of these studies. Every one of them was a stupid, confounded epidemiological study. And when I got to who funded it, it was always the ag some agriculture business. So then I Googled, show me studies showing that there is no danger in bacon. And I didn't find too many studies, but I found a lot of articles where people pointed out the same things I'm pointing out here, including a video from Ken Berry, who did a great job of researching this. And I think that this one question I got this morning was just indicative of the way we live our lives right now. Everybody trying to sell you their idea, their product, their philosophy, their religion, whatever the hell it is, they're trying to sell it to us. And boy, have they got evidence to back it up. And ironically, there's just as much evidence that says the other thing and the opposite. Snap out of it. Stop worrying about this crap. Use common sense, common sense. We know so much about the fraud that went into our dietary guidelines. Believe it already, believe it already. Stop looking for reasons or listening to people who keep telling you why you're wrong. Our species evolved eating meat for millions of years and meat is not bad for us. We have to live our lives. We can't wake up every morning and be concerned about what's going to kill us today. Ooh, ooh. We're having a record hot day. It hasn't been this hot since 1898. So obviously there's climate change and obviously the world is going to burn up and we're all going to die tomorrow. Give it a break. It was this hot in 1898. Use some common sense and logic. Eat your bacon. I eat a half a pound of bacon a day and I've been doing that for years. I have never had any signs of colorectal cancer, not a polyp. I also have completely, on a personal level, and most of us have, debunked the myth that eating fat makes you fat. Thank you, uh, Ansel Keys. All of us eat an appropriate amount of fat, maybe 70% of our calories from fat, and we get thin. People tell me I'm too skinny. You can't have it both friggin' ways. You can't say that doing this absolutely causes that, and then you do this, and it doesn't cause that. You cannot have it both ways. We don't have many people who say I'm eating tremendous amounts of fat and gaining weight. They're losing weight. So that assumption that eating fat makes you fat is nonsense. I don't care who or how many times you hear it. Use some common sense. Have some belief in your common sense and Knowledge of the obvious. I was told once that my knowledge of the obvious is exceeded only by my grasp of the self-evident. <laughs> I took that as a compliment. Relax. 
live your life. Eat the foods that you want that we know are healthy for you. And there are so many good things about bacon, so many nutrients in bacon, so many really good fats, monounsaturated fats in bacon. It is a health food. Bacon and eggs, the most demonized meal on the planet, happens to be one of the healthiest and most nutritional things that a human being can eat. Enjoy it. Enjoy it without worrying. Oh, as one last aside, do you know where most nitrites and nitrates come from? Plants. Look it up. On that thought, Take the rest of the day off and eat meat.